All right, guys, thanks for getting on November 12th. Got this thing recording. Uh, so before we jump into it, I just want to do a quick little recognition. Um, I have a little document of all of the, the coaches that hit a certain amount of PB uh, the last week, the week ending November 5th. So in the four hundred the coaches that were above 400 personal volume points. So for the, for new coaches, personal volume points, that's uh personal volume comes from your personal orders and your customer orders. Um, it's kind of close to like almost every dollar of that you buy or sell is kind of equal to one personal volume point. It's not exact, but kind of similar. So last week, the coaches that had over 400 personal volume points were Peter Reelman, Way to go, Dad. Jeff, the Bulldog, Lease, and Bridget Moore. And Bridget was at the top with 470. And then in the 300 club was Rosa, Clark, Sharon, I'm not really good at pronouncing names, Azam, Kelly Marks, Alyssa Sardelli, Amy Reelman, Andrea Wallace, myself, Margaret Macker, Macker, Brittany, Sarah, in the 250 club, so 250 up, we had Amy Morgan, Ashley Irvin, Teresa Versetto, oh, oh, Gully, okay. Amber Bradley, oh, oh, Sarah Marshall, and Michelle Phillips. So pretty good, pretty good stuff there. Um, so a little recognition. So now I want to jump into the call. So for you guys that you might have been seeing this a lot um, in the groups, so we try to do uh, at least one challenge group every month where so now you have like your free groups that your free general health and fitness kind of accountability groups for your for the, your prospects and customers and things like that and then once a month we run challenge groups where people have to commit to a challenge pack to get into the challenge group and we kind of all start a specific workout program at the same time and one of the statistics that really stood out to me was that 71 percent of all diamond coaches were customers first. And I think that makes a lot of sense because the customers, the coaches that sign up that already have a strong belief in the products, it's easier for them to share and invite other people. Um, so that's why these challenge groups are, are really vital. Not only are you helping a lot of people get results because the products are amazing and they're gonna get more support and accountability in the group, but also that's where you're gonna get those people that really start to believe in the products and decide that they want to pay it forward to help others by becoming a coach and joining your team. And that's when things really start to, to get excited because rather than them just being a, a customer of yours that you collect like a little bit of commission from, if they decide they want to pay it forward and become a coach with you, they sign up as a coach and then they might bring in some people that want to be coaches along with them. And then those people bring in coaches too. And then that's when your team really starts to take off and all that team volume really starts to explode. And that's where really that's where the potential with this business is. Um, but it all starts with helping people get results with the Beachbody programs and Shakeology in those challenge groups. So what we wanted to talk about today was how do we go about promoting challenge groups on social media? And then how do we, how do we invite people to join our challenge groups and commit to a challenge pack? And someone who's you know done an amazing job with this over the last uh, few months, over the last year, and especially this month, um, is is my sister Amy Reelman. And uh, so we want to make things easier for you guys. So we create little scripts um, that you can kind of follow along with, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel on how to invite. And uh, so we did that. And Amy's going to talk a little bit about the script that she uses to invite to the one that's happening this month, which is Pio after the pie, which is starting the Monday after Thanksgiving, hence the name Pio after the pie. Um, so Amy, are you on? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so go ahead, you wanna take it away? Sure. Um, I'm gonna share my screen. I figured I would show you guys how I, um, have been using the script and then like how, yeah, so I'm just gonna go over that kind of, and I went through and looked at a few conversations that I was going to show you guys and show you how I like answer questions back. And you'll see that I use the script a lot and just kind of tailor it a little bit to the person. 
Um, so first off, I'm using the Pio script that Pat made, and I just went in and did a few edits, so it might look a little bit different than if you haven't opened it up in the best hour or so. Hey, Amy, um, just for like the co for the coaches that haven't seen this yet, so in oh uh, where it is. So it don't show them because because everyone's in a diff a little bit of maybe in a different coach group. So like for the coaches that are in my coach group, Team Boom Team Boom coaches. Uh, it's in the files tab. So Amy, so like show them how to get to the files tab in the coach. Okay. So in my coach group, um, it's in the files tab as well. And it's just listed as Pio challenge script. And what you're going to do is you have to actually click on the document. It's a Google doc. So you can't edit it. Only Pat can and I can because I have access to it. So what I recommend people doing is to like copy over the whole thing. And um, so copy over it all and then just paste it into your own document and then you can edit it to fit what you want. Like in a Word document, yeah. Yeah, yeah. or another Google Doc because some people don't have Word. Like I don't have Word on my computer, so I use all Google Docs, which is yeah, free. Me too. Um, okay. And then Amy, can you just show, like for the coaches in my coach group, like can you go to my coach group for a sec? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Just click on home. Yeah. So like, is this one yours? Yeah. So then that, then files tab. So mine is called uh, script for promoting challenge packs. So this, so this will have the Pio after the Pi script, which is the original script that I created. And then Alyssa has a script that's kind of similar to the. So to my. Pat, what I did to yours was I took Alyssa's and I like added in some of, of what Alyssa said. Okay, so cool. um, I just kind of like blended the two together of like what I liked basically and what I've been using. Cool. Okay. So I figured what I was going to do first is show you guys how I'm promoting it. And then I'm going to show you some conversations. So I have it written down, but um, the first thing that I'm doing is obviously just posting on my own page. And I mean, every, like once in a while I do different things. So, you know, this one is straight out, tells you exactly the price of it. Um, I don't know if I've put in some other things, like I posted it again earlier and it said something different. Um, and then I posted it on my Instagram. So just by posting it. And then what I do is um, I look at all the people who have liked it. And I go in and I hover over their name. If they're like, for instance, I'm not going to mess with Genevieve because she's a coach, but if it's somebody who is not a coach, so this one, like for instance, this person, I just hover over and I message them. Um, I already did it so you can't see it, but I just said, and it shows you in the script, um, if whatever you post on your social media and then message the person who liked it. Hey, I saw you liked my post. Would you like more information about my next challenge? Um, and then there's some follow-ups. They don't respond. You can follow up again. Hey, I noticed you liked my photo about my Pio challenge. I don't want you to miss out. And I would love to chat with you more about it. What interests you? And then I do one more follow-up. Hey, I just want to follow up one last time. There must be some reason you liked my photo. I would really love to get you in the group. What intrigued you about my challenge post? So those are just some things that I message to people. And I do this for like anything. If somebody likes a picture of me drinking Shakeology um, and I haven't really talked to that person or whatever, I might hover over and be like, thanks for liking my post. Are you interested in hearing more about Shakeology or whatever? So that's one way. And then, Amy, can I just say, uh, like, so in that document, in the, in the Google Doc, like option one there, that says post on, of, a post on your social media, so that's like just kind of like a, a, a guide of, or an example of what you can post, but you know, put that in your own words. And, and also you can go to like some coaches off that, like Amy, like go to Amy Realman's Facebook page and the ones that she was just showing you, you could like look at what she's posted, the way she's kind of phrased what it's all about. And then maybe, you know, copy paste and maybe put it in your words as well. Um, yeah. And I got a couple posts like on my, on my fan page. And I know some of the other coaches have too. So you don't have to like reinvent the wheel. Yeah. And then another way that I'm promoting. So that's just on my own page, my own social media. And then everybody's in a chat, their own free challenge groups. Mine's called team boom three. So in my group, what I'm doing is I'm posting about it again. So you can search in the group to see what's, what's in there. So if I type in Pio, 
you can see some things that I've posted. So for instance, I just posted this today. We have a few more spots left in our Pio after the pie challenge. Do you want the benefits of Pilates and yoga classes, but wish you could burn more fat? Pio is the answer and pairing that with Shakeology is bound to get you even better results. Comment below if you're interested in our December 1 challenge. Spots close out November 21st, next Friday. And I say that because that's kind of like five, that's seven days before the Saturday before, so they get it in time by December 1st. Um, and so I just made my own thing, like me drinking Shakeology and me doing a Pio move and just said, what a, what a combo. And how'd you um, make it? What's that? How do you make that? Um, pick stitch. Oh, well, I did pick stitch and then I did a beautiful mess. It's an app. And then I just wrote the words on it. Um, so I just did that. And then <laughs> she's a coach, but so anyone who likes this post that isn't a coach, I can, you know, message them or hover over who they are and see who I have mutual friends with. So I like to do this. So Chris Langham, a mutual friend is Chris Serene. So that is one of my coaches and this is one of her customers. So I might message Chris and say, Hey, did you see Chris liked the, did you see Chris Langham liked the picture about Pio? He, um, looks like he might be interested in more information or something just so she has a heads up in case she didn't see it. Same with, you know, this guy actually. So I don't even know, but I would, I could figure out who his coach was. And then, um, also here's another tip that I like to do in my, um, group, my free group. I also like to type in the word and then go back in and like, um, the photos or stuff that people have posted, even if they were a while ago, so that it brings them back up to the news feed. So I could go in here and see like, for instance, this is mine that I posted on November 10th, so like the other day. I might like it so that it bumps back up to the top of the news feed in the group. I do this like every day, actually. So I usually oh, go Does it really day. do that? If you like it, it goes to the top? Yeah, so now if I go back to Team Boom 3, since I just liked that, oh, well, sometimes it, it usually does. What so you if can I go do like, to bump it to the top is... I think you have to uh, comment on it. What you do, yeah, you can comment. Oh, comment, sorry, not like. I just Sorry, comment like. like a period, and then I delete my comment, and it, it'll it bump to the top by doing that. Yeah, so I usually will go in, I pretty much every day go in and type Shakeology in, and then I try and, um, like, comment or like on it or whatever. This so is sometimes. great. I had no clue that, like, because I think we're all, you know, in our in our free groups, we have people that we're adding to our free groups. I didn't know, I knew you could search for people's names to see like what they posted and what posts they've commented on, but I didn't know you could search like actual words like Pio yeah. or Shakeology. So I like doing that too because I can see things get lost so fast. So if I type, if I were to post this yesterday, I might not be able to see what people wrote on it. So if people had more comments, then I can go back in and see if anyone commented more on it or whatever. So like Tim posted this and then I went like right, well, it was kind of the same time, but I posted on there again so that it would pop again. So there's some more in here, but that does help. It brings it back up when you comment on it. How often do you post about Shakeology in your free group? I try and post, um, I like try and encourage the coaches to post like at least a, a few times a week. I post something about it every other, every couple days at least. Not necessarily me. So if you look and see like this was me posting um, and I like got, I was going to show you guys this as well, but I just got these like statistics and stuff off of the website for Beachbody, like Shakeology. And then this is like an old picture of me. So I posted that yesterday. And then today I posted this one of my Andrea. And I just said my sister had a crazy busy weekend. And then did you overindulge last weekend and stuff and posted that. So it's not always of me, but like I try and like get it in there in some way. And I, I don't love just posting like ads all the time. So I try to have it be like one of us doing it. Sometimes I do like this one is just like another one about the bottom of the bag guarantee or whatever. And then you can see like on some of them, like even I'm the only one like I commented on this so that it would bring it back up again. Cool. Um, All right. Sorry. Let's get back on, on track with the pile script. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that's just another way of promoting it is posting it in your challenge group. Um, another thing that I do is 
you can go in and look at the number of people in your group and then so just hit the number the members and then you can um, sort it by date join date um, and you can scroll back as early as you were in the group so if I wanted to scroll back you know just keep going back whatever I'm just I'm not gonna go that far back right now but if I wanted to go back like a month ago I can hover over anyone that I've actually added if I've at you know so I can look and see looks like I'm not doing very well okay well regardless I could hover Priya. over the person Priya it says what? added by Amy Realman Priya oh, okay so I could hover over her and then I could just um, look at the message and it'll pop up the message um, thread that we have going on so she actually wasn't in the US but anyway um, and I could just go to the Pio script and I like to use so that we already went over this part and then for the second option is send private messages I personally like to use um, the second option I like to do this one because it's not targeted just at that person it's like I don't know if this is for you or not and I added this in here just recently um, I don't know if this is for you or not since you are already in great shape so you probably have your own fitness eating plan you were doing, but I was hoping you could help me. I'm looking for five people who want to stay on track. Blah, blah, blah. And it's, so it's asking if like they know of anyone or if they're interested. So I usually will just copy over this and then go to her name and I would just met, paste it and I would, I add her name. Hey Priya, how are you? And then send it. So you can do that. That's another way to find people to invite. <clears throat> and you can go back again as far as back as you were and it shows you the conversation if you want to message them or not um, and then okay another thing you can do is I don't know if everyone has these yet I literally just started it like last week um, but if you have a fan page so what I've been doing is on my fan page I've been posting stuff about it as well and then I can hover over and message these people about it. So for instance, um, yeah, so you can hover over and message them. I think that her and I actually just talked about it. Yeah, so she, she, I think she liked one of my posts. But anyway, so you can hover over the person's name and message them. And then another thing you can do in here is um, as you go to invite people to like your page, um, I like to look at them and you can start from wherever and you can I already have it marked as where I'm like starting off, but you could hover over the person's name So if I wanted to invite Jerry I would invite him to my fan page hover over his name and then I send a message um, And I can just hey Jerry And then just send it um, so I've been since I have a fan page you don't have to do this but I've been sending at least 10 a day while I invite people to my fan page um, so I invite 10 friends a day to my fan page and I make sure to post something right before um, especially if I'm doing like Pio invites I'm gonna post something that has to do with like Shakeology or Pio or whatever so you can see in here that like I posted this you know the Pio thing and then right after I did 10 invites invited them to my page and then hovered over and messaged them. Hey, Amy, yeah. can I stop you for a sec? Yeah. Do you recommend that your new coaches get a Facebook fan page or are they just okay with having their own personal profile? Not, they don't yeah, you don't need a fan page. Okay. I would, I would say you don't need a fan page until you probably have like 2,000 friends on your personal yeah. page. Yeah. This is just for people who, yeah, this is like an extra thing. So don't feel like you have to do it. I'm just using it as an example to like invite people and whatever. And then you can also obviously just go to your regular page and go to your friends. And then I, I think we were, everyone was wondering about this, like how you just search like A, B, C, D, like you can, cause it doesn't bring up everyone that has A, right? Oh, actually it is now. Just 20. Okay, so and then again, you can go in here, hover over the person. Obviously, I'm not going to message her, and then hit message and send them the message. And then yeah, then hit like type B now, so you can do A, 
Yeah. And if That's you can, still going to get a lot of people. And you can do like A, B. Yeah. So that's another way to hover over and message to invite people. And you just send the same message. Um, and then another way is if everyone should have interest groups set up if you've done Coach Basics. So I have my interest group for people that I've kind of targeted as like old friends or whatever that I think would make good coaches or I'm just kind of following them and liking and commenting on their stuff. So you should be adding to that. I have about a hundred people on mine right now. I, sh I need to do a few more and like make it smaller, but this is a good idea too. Cause um, these are people that you have been already liking and commenting on their stuff. So you could simply hover over their name and then hit message. And like, this is an old, fr uh, someone who I went to high school with. And then I would just send it. So, for people that don't know like what an interest page is, it's basically like your news feed on Facebook is cluttered with all of your friends' posts. And you can create a, a specific news feed for just spe the specific friends you want. Like you can create a news feed of all the posts of like just your college friends. And you can, yeah. and then you can create a news feed of all the people that you're, your high school friends. Um, and like Amy, she creates a news feed of all her people that are kind of like her prospects that she's had been starting conversations with. Yeah. And it allows her to like, just go to that specific news feed or interest group and see what those specific people have been posting, what they're up to. Yeah. And then, can you kind of show them quick? Like if they wanted to do that, if they wanted to create a, an interest group, like how they would do that. Yeah. So it's really, you just scroll down. Um, and then Brittany Sierra or Brittany oh, has a really good video on exactly how to set it up. But all you do is go down to interests and everyone should have this. And then you literally just hit add an interest group and then you hit create a list and then you want to hit friends. And then you can just start adding anyone you want just you know click you can scroll through it might take you a while if you have a lot of friends but it could just be like oh it could be people who you're not like right away want to ask out front or whatever so if you're just starting and you're a little bit like shy or whatever you could say oh like this girl i went to high school with and she would be good but i don't really want to just like right away ask her i want to you know follow her news feed and see what she's up to and stuff so anyway you can pick you can pick a lot um and I recommend like switching it up every month or so. And then you hit next. And then you want to make sure it says only me so that no one can see that you're like stalking these people. <laughs> um, and then you can change whatever you want your name to be. So mine's prospects. So you could just say, you know, prospect, or you could say like list one or old high school friends and then do one that says college friends or whatever. So you pick only me. And then you get done. And now what it's going to do is it's only going to show me, oh, and then it's only going to show me these people, what these people are doing. So it's like a mini news feed, like Pat said. So now I can see exactly what she's posting about. And I mean, oh, she's posting about being thankful. That may make a good coach. And then you would just, you can see whatever these people are up to and you can like and comment on it or if it's something that interests you, like sometimes people will flat out post about like fitness and stuff. So those are going to be great people that you want to follow. So that's just how you do the interest groups. It's another way to invite people. And then, okay. I think that, and then I'm just going to show you some like messages that I have going. Okay. So let me show you one girl. She actually just bought the Pio Challenge Pack. If you look at our conversation, um, I found her on, I did a Facebook invite and she never messaged me or whatever. And then I think she accepted my, or she friended me or something. So I said, hi. So anyway, clearly she's not responding to me and I'm like checking in with her a lot. Finally, she checks in to me with me. This is in May and I'm telling her about the group or whatever, make the free profile. She wasn't into it. Then she liked my post about the 21 day fix. 
So I, oh, she asked me to send her a video. So anyway, going blah, blah, blah through all of this. So then we're talking about Shakeology and she's talking about the 21 day fix thing. Okay. So then we're talking, anyway, we're talking about workouts and I was telling her about Pio and stuff. And then basically it's just like going through and I've been like using the script and she wanted to know about the three day refresh. So I sent her that and it just kind of goes on. And then anyway, she, so then she just ordered it, but this is because she saw one of my posts. This was a bad example. Sorry. <laughs> she saw one of my posts. And so I messaged her because she liked it. Um, let me see. I had a different one that was better. Anyway, she did end up getting it. So this girl hasn't gotten it yet, but she, I messaged her on, so we haven't talked in a while and I just messaged her, Hey, how are you doing? I don't know if this would be for you or not. Um, and then she said, how much is Pio? I told her about the Facebook group and the cost. And she definitely needed the motivation. How does she order? So I just went right into it and gave her the link and everything. But this is from me reaching out to her and sending her the Pio script. And then she's asking me about the three day refresh. Same kind of thing. I'm telling her about like the kickstart thing. Um, and then she said she's going to get the one with the three day refresh and the vanilla and everything. And so we talked about it like that. Um, and then I went in and gave her my link and stuff. So that was another example of me sending her a request. Um, let's see if I have any other ones. Recently, sometimes they're going to be right away, and other times they're not going to be. That one's not a good example. I thought I had good ones on here, and I really don't. <laughs> Okay, I don't really have any other good examples on here, but basically I've, a lot of them, I've been just doing the script with them and I don't remember their names because a lot of them are, uh, oh, okay, here's one. So I haven't talked to her since February and today I just messaged her, I don't know if this would be for you, sure. What are your goals, gaining more muscle? And so I just went right into it. Um, and again, this is from the script. Okay, then this challenge is perfect for you and it's fun. Some mornings I used to wake up, blah, blah, blah. This is all from the script. Cool, no, I haven't. Okay, so the Pio program was created by Shaleen. Does it sound like something you'd be interested in? Sure. The challenge begins December 1st, so it's perfect timing. Perfect. Um, and then the month only, blah, 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 the discount. And I say, does this sound doable for you? Sure. Whatever. And then she said she's going to, this, she didn't even get it yet. So who knows that she'll actually fall through, but I'm going to, um, she said she's doing it tonight. So I'm going to follow up with her tomorrow if she doesn't do it. And I'll probably just say something like, Hey, did you get a chance to order your challenge back? But again, I'm sending out a lot of these invites and that's how I'm getting like some response and some challenge pack sold and stuff. And then I think that's kind of all. Oh, and then everyone should be able to do this is on your, and this is another thing I do. And I do this every month. The first day of the month, I send out an e-card with whatever challenge pack is on sale that month. And then I send one, if I haven't made success club, I send it again, like the 15th. And if I still haven't made it, then I'll send it again at the end of the month. And like, I'll do something different. But for everyone, this is definitely something that you can do. Okay, so forever you just go to coach, coach online office. And then you go over to my business, uh, my customers, customer search. Um, if you have less than 500 customers, you can send an e-card out to everyone. But if you don't, then you have to um, do it, like shorten it. And I can show you how to do that as well. But so I can't send it to all these people because I have too many. 
So I'm going to have to make mine smaller. But if you didn't have that many, then you could just hit send e-card and pick it. So I, if you do you have, have over 500, many. what? I'm sure like not, not many people have over 500 customers. Okay. And the ones that do know how to probably know how to do it. And if they right. don't. Do you want me to show them how to send an e-card though? Yeah, yeah. You can show them how to send an e-card. Okay. Well, then if you don't have over 500, then you don't have to worry about this part. So I'm just going in. I'm just for anyone that you can just change the dates. But anyway, so it's going to show me customers, send an e-card. And if there are people that you don't want to send it to, so say for instance that like you didn't really want to send it to this person for some reason, or they already bought it, so you don't need to send it to them. Then you could just hit click here to create an e-card and they have all of the challenge packs on here. So you could just pick like the, if you want to just do the Pio or you can do the kickstart one, but you would just click on it and then you would put in your information. It should save if you've done them before Then you hit next. And then it's going to show you exactly what we'll send to everybody. And it just tells them exactly what they're going to get. And then whoever gets this email, since they're your customer, as if they literally just click, yes, I want to get this, then it will go directly to you. Um, and then you would hit just hit next. And you can do the something on here like um, November deals. And then you would just hit send now and it would go through. I'm not going to hit send it because I've already sent this out. Does anyone have any questions on that? How many people are you inviting every day with that, with that like initial invite? The, hey, how are you doing? I don't know if you'd be interested. I've been, used, I've been doing um, on my fan page, like inviting people. So I've been doing anywhere from like 10 to 15 a day. But again, you don't have to do it from there. You can, I just do about 10 to 15 a day from wherever so that I'm just be talking like from, to you guys. I think I just did three. <laughs> so that could be from people's like profile and then clicking on friends searching, or yeah. that it could be like by going into their, their free Facebook group and, and then you can click on members and see all the people that you've added. Mm -hmm. But, but on like rule of thumb, it's, it's like 10 to 15 people a day. Yeah. I've been doing about 10 to 15. And I'm the same, I, I do the same thing. I kind of like at the beginning of November, I was like, I'm going to do 10 to 20 every day um, from now until up to Thanksgiving. And like the first seven days I was doing like, you know, 15, probably on average 15 a day. And I didn't sell anything. Like no one was interested. Uh, a lot of people said no, or just didn't respond. But then, then the last like couple days I've sold two. Uh, so it just takes time. Like I, you know, I went through those, I don't know, 140 people that weren't interested, but I kept doing it. And then eventually some people wanted to do it. And I don't think it was a waste of time. Those 140 people that, that weren't interested. A lot of them said they had a reason why they weren't interested, like time or money or something. And I just politely said, would it be cool with you if, if I just reached out to you next month to see if you'd be ready for a challenge then? And they were like, yeah, sure. That'd be great. So I kind of planted seeds and, and some of them hopefully will commit to a challenge the next month or the month after. Um, but, uh, so I think Amy Morgan has a lot going on with her house. She's just sold it and she just bought a new one. So she couldn't make it on. But, uh, I don't know if, uh, Kelly, if, if that, is that like basically kind of what you've been, what you did last month with uh, P90? Yeah, I actually went through and I pulled up a list like what we did with all of her customers. And then I went through and picked through some of them that I hadn't talked to in quite a while and messaged them to see if they were interested. And if they weren't, I kind of did what you did and said, I, I plan to see with them. I caught up with them. I like, read through the message from like start to finish when we first started talking and just kind of brought back the conversation again. A lot of them said, you know, check back with me next month. I don't have the money this month or, you know, and some just didn't respond either. So it's kind of hit or miss. Cool. And then so how many people do you think you invited each day? Um, probably 25 to 30. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and then how often do you like post about the challenge 
like per week on your social media? Um, maybe like once every other week or so. I try not to do it too often, but maybe once a week max, but usually it's about every other week. Cool. But then like you're posting every day about like what workout you did and stuff like that. Yeah. I, I swear by that. I post my workout every single day to my Instagram and I've found a lot of people will message me on Facebook wondering what workout I'm doing and how they get it. So for me, I feel like that really brings in a lot of people and I sold challenge packs after doing that. Cool. And when you say you post your workout on Instagram every day, like what do you, what exactly do you post? I either do some sort of picture or um, take some videos and just post that cool. and say a little bit of something what I did that day. Awesome. Good deal. Cool. Does anyone have any questions for Amy? I do. So if you're going through your friends list and your contacts and all of that, and you are mass messaging people about this challenge pack and they're not interested, um, next month, are you like mass attacking them for the next one? Cause I feel like I just exhausted all of this on 21 day fix. And then it's like to shift gears and, uh, you know, start sending everyone the same type of message again. I don't want to look like I'm just hawking whatever's the monthly challenge. You can, like Pat said, if they're not interested in it, say like, is it okay if I contact you next month? If they just don't respond, then maybe not the next month, but the next month, be like, I know you weren't interested last time, but maybe this time or whatever. But a lot of times, like Pat said, people will end up responding saying like no or yes. And if they say no, um, most of the time they give a reason. And if they, then you can say like Pat did, is it okay if I keep you on my list to check in with you next month or whatever? And if they say, yeah, then when you message them, say, Hey, I know we talked last month and it didn't work for you, but I'm running this challenge. Would you be interested or whatever? So are you getting many referrals on the ones where you say, I don't know if you are, but maybe someone else is. I've actually have gotten a few. Um, and I, one of them was from two months ago and I messaged her and she wasn't interested, but her dad was, and he ended up buying a challenge pack and then he gave her some Shakeology. And so she signed up as a coach. Cause I was like, I'm making money off of your dad. Like you should. And he didn't want to sign up as a coach. So like she signed up as a discount coach cause she liked Shakeology. Um, and I've gotten a few people who have like referred people, but not that anyone else that I've like signed up on challenge packs or anything. But. Okay. Thank you. I feel like mostly that like, do you know anyone who's interested? It's kind of just like a way of being like saying it. Like I'm not asking directly you, but basically I am directly asking you. <laughs> I'd like, uh, if Joe, if, Joe Paulson, if you don't mind, I know you, you're like, you, you're Mr. Success Club. Do you mind just sharing like real quick kind of where most of your success club points come from? Because I know they're not necessarily all from you know, seven invites on Facebook. I don't know if you can hear me. I think you're muted, Joe. All right, it's frozen. Hey, I'm here. Oh, cool. I was doing something else. He caught me. Caught me. Stop laughing for you. <laughs> uh, I was just curious, like, where, where most of your success club points come from? Because, like, you know, a lot of us do a lot of stuff like inviting on social media. But I think a lot of times we get um, too stuck in our comfort zone of what's comfortable. It's hiding behind a computer. And I think you do a great job of getting a lot of people involved in challenge packs and challenge groups outside of social media. Well, I, what I like to do is I, I just love talking to people. So, um, especially like if I'm traveling, uh, the last two times I was away, um, first time I got some place, I was waiting for some friends. So I ordered a little lunch and, um, bartender behind the bar was, I see like going over by the register and picking fruit out of a plastic bag and stuff. And, um, you know, next time she came by, I said, Hey, what, what, you, what do you have in the bag there? I said, are you, are you watching what you're eating? She goes, yeah, I'm trying to lose weight, this and that. I said, cool. So, you know, she walked, you know, taking care of other customers. We came back another time. I see her with a shake in her hand. I said, that wouldn't happen to be Shakeology, is it? She's, she's like, no, but I heard about Shakeology. I really want to try it. I said, no kidding. I said, you know, I'm, I'm a coach with Team Beachbody. They're the makers of Shakeology and P90. She goes, yeah, I heard all about them. So um, I gave her my card, gave her a nice tip, got her information. 
and she bought a challenge pack like three weeks after that, you know, if she had stuff going on. But she bought it and she's doing well. Then the next time I was in the same, this was down in Ocean City, Maryland, and I was talking to somebody else sitting next to me at the bar, and I'm always in the bar, I guess. Um, so um, just talking to her, and uh, I think I had a P90X hat on. She goes, oh, I've done P90X. It didn't stand. I said, oh, no kidding. I said, have you heard of Pile? She goes, no, what's that? I said, you know, just give me your information. I'll send you some, you know, a video about it. And we talked a little bit more and got home after that weekend, and she ended up buying a Pile, a pile Challenge Pack. But um, you just go out and make friends. I mean, do form in real life. It's, you know, just be yourself. And, you know, if you're comfortable, you know, it, it, it comes pretty easy talking about it. If you're confident in your results and, and the work that you're doing, it makes it easy to talk about it too. Now, I'm, now, I've recently moved down to South Carolina, and I don't know too many people here, but I signed up for this holiday market that they're doing. And I've been putting the table together. And I'm just looking forward to going out and talking to people and, to share my experiences and just making friends. And, you know, usually when I do these, I do try to do like two, two or three a year. And I just get tons of contacts. You don't make a lot of sales because people aren't ready to spend the money, but there are always people that want to lose weight or know somebody in the family that wants to lose weight. So I just use it as a lead generating event and, uh, and just make some friends. And I've made friends that have been lifelong friends just with things like this. So get out, you know, don't be shy, get out of your comfort zone and just be yourself, you know, have fun. You got to have fun with it. And, and they're going to see, you know, if you're comfortable. So, you know, do your workouts, drink your Shakeology. They won't be afraid to talk about it, you know. <laughs> Go out and make friends. So, like, what would be your number one tip for being comfortable? Talk if someone's like, doesn't feel comfortable talking to someone in person about being a coach or inviting to a challenge group or something like that, like, how do you gain confidence? Uh, I, like I said, I, I, think, I think we all – have gained a lot of confidence just by, um, you know, going through personally, just, just taking the challenge yourself and, and doing the workouts and getting the results. You know, it's, it, you know, and I tell people, it's just like, you know, talking about a movie or a restaurant, you know, recommending something like that, you know, just, just don't even think about business, man. Just be yourself and, you know, naturally get in the habit of, of forming people just naturally, you know, it's, and, you know, when, when you think about what you're doing, that's when you start stuttering and, you, you know, you get all messed up. So just go out, be yourself. The more you do it, the easier it gets. You know, I've gone into, you know, tile stores and carpet places and, and talked to people that way and got leads. You know, just, just be yourself. You know, it's, it's, there's always some way to work in, you know, what you do and, and what they're doing. And, you know, there's, and there's always somebody that's looking to, you know, get in better shape. So just... Be, be uh, careful about how you say it. You don't want to insult anybody. But, but uh, you know, just, as long as you can get, like, an email or something, just say, hey, you want, you know, if you get a good conversation going, you can just say, hey, are you on Facebook? Or, you know, and don't even talk about business. And then you got another, you know, lead right there. So just be yourself. That's the main thing. Love it. Good deal. Cool. Uh, we got, like, 15 minutes left. Um, I know you guys are all busy, so feel free to drop off whenever you want. But uh, Amy and I and a, and a couple of us are going to stick around for questions. So does anyone have any, any other questions? I, I have a question. Um, when, you're, when, <laughs> um, when you're talking about when you have – people that you ask to be in your PIO group and then they say, well, it's not for me this month. How are you keeping track of all these people? I use um, a Google Excel spreadsheet. So I can show you. Mine just looks like I just have a contact list. Oh, there's the dog she wants. <laughs> yeah, isn't he pretty? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so I, so I just keep a list of people. I could be better organized with it, but so these are people for coaching and like, they tell me kind of when they're going to be ready or these are people who were interested in these programs, but not the time I talk to them. Um, so I will just like, you know, I can copy their name and put them into, you know, the mess search thing and our last conversation will pop up and stuff. And then these oh, are all people so that like their name. So, so all these customers that you get, you put on this doc and then you, how do you keep track every month? Like, no, I mean, you have hundreds. Well, I only do it for like 
people that I'm kind of talking to that are actually, I haven't really been doing what Pat does, like where he says, like, can I contact you next month? I only really do that. I've been, was doing that really well with the coaching. So that's why these are all like dates of people that say they're going to coach at whatever point. And then these are people who are interested in like specific programs. Um, and I just like, after a while, if they like aren't interested anymore, then I just kind of get rid of them on my contact list. But these are just like my more recent people who, you know, they either can't afford it or whatever. And then, so that's kind of just how I keep track of that. Where's the rest of the people? What do you mean? I mean, that's all you, you don't have many names for, well, these are all just recent. Oh, where are the other ones? Uh, I'm not that organized. Oh, they're gone. So this yeah, is, they this got is, the boot because they weren't interested. Fast well, that's enough. what I'm wondering. Like, so you ask them a couple times and then out. Oh, well, the, um, oh, these are all people that have bought in challenge packs. So that doesn't really help, but you can, you can put their name down and just do name, date, notes and stuff and say, this person interested 21 day fix or whatever. You don't have to put too much info if you're talking to them on Facebook, cause you can just copy and put it into the search thing and see the rest of the conversation. But like for these are like more recent people who I've been talking to that are interested. So I just put them there because I'm going to follow up with them a couple times. But So the people in your inbox are people that you have as um, – that you're working on the follow-ups to get into, like, your free group or buy a challenge group. I mean, a challenge pack. Yeah. So I'm – I mean, everyone does it differently, but I don't like my inbox to be messy. So, like, mine are all from, like, today – or like only two days. So I either have them on here and then, so my don't message don't go back any further than Monday. Cause I either X them out if they're not interested or whatever. And then I put people at like people that are actually kind of serious on the, on the list. And so then you, I follow up with them. Okay. So the people in your inbox, you, you're doing like two follow ups, and if you don't, if they don't give you the response and you do that stalker thing, then they're gone. Yeah. Okay. And then people that are interested, but maybe not buying anything, you get on this list for a month. And then. Well, if they're interested in coaching, I keep them on longer. So these are all the people I have interested in coaching that aren't right. Like not right now, but I'm going to keep following up with them because they're, and some of them, like I did have it longer, but like after a few months, if they're not responding to me or they're not, not interested, anymore then I'm not going to keep them on here because I don't know. I like this because I thought you might have a, a list of a hundred or 200 people that you're constantly keeping track of, but you're not. No, I mean, I don't. Maybe other you people do. Filter them in, filter them out, filter them in, filter them out. I'm not going to like message people 50 Ooh. times. And if they're not going to respond then they're not going to make good coaches anyway, because it's going to, I don't want to have to keep hustling them. And meanwhile, they're in your free challenge group. Yeah, so some people pop up again because right. they see what you're posting. or And I also, like, I don't unfriend anyone that even if they didn't, like, make a free profile or whatever. Because I actually did sell a challenge pack last month to a girl who never made a free profile with me. I got all the way to this is the last time I'm following up. But I posted about something, and she saw it and liked it. So I messaged her, and then she bought a challenge pack. So people so, are still following you. Yeah, like I don't unfriend people because that's just more people that are following what I'm doing. So they might come at any time. Yeah. Okay. That's all I have. And then like Amy kind of showed, like in even though she might have closed out the conversation with someone and they might not be on her list, she's still going into her free group on Facebook and searching by all the members, but, and it shows like who added the members so she can see people that she added a few months back and then kind of start the conversation up again. Yeah. I start conversations up again all the time. I'm just not going to keep them in my inbox because I just don't like to have the clutter and it makes it easier for me when I do, I like to do my follow-ups every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I scroll all the way to the bottom and I work my way all the way up. So I just don't like to have all the clutter and if you're in, you're in. And if you're out, you're out. <laughs> Either just do it or move on. No, but they're always following you. They're always following you. Yeah. That's the thing, you know, they're not gone. They're just, yeah. So then sometimes they, they come, come back. You, you, they have to come to you. All right. That's good. 
Yeah. So Amy, you were talking about the e-cards earlier and sending those out, you know, depending on where you are, if you need to send it or not. How do you, do you have like another spreadsheet that tracks what programs all your customers have and haven't done or do or don't have? No. Or is there a way to find that in the coach online office? No, I pretty much no. Like sometimes I won't send it to like a specific, like a, one of my like good friends or whatever. Like I'll just uncheck them. Cause like, I know they're not going to want it, but I pretty much send it out to everyone if they have it or if they don't, I'm just kind of, I'm basically just sharing with them what that challenge is for that month. So I mean, they might already have insanity, but it's going to pop back up again. Okay. But you, you can Pat, right on, um, you can search your customers and then search on programs. Yeah, you can do you can go to my business, my customers, and you can do an advanced customer search and you can sort your customers by like what program, they've done in the past or what program they ordered. Um, but I just, I just so send it out I'm just like, you know, I want everyone to know about the, the, uh, the deal coming out, even like the, you know, the pile challenge pack. I want everyone to know about that because even though maybe they've done pile in the past, they might have a friend or somebody who might be interested in the pile challenge pack. So I'll just send it out to everybody. Okay. Thanks. You got it. Cool. Does anyone have any questions? Any other questions? Nope. Does anyone I have a question? But oh. I had a comment. Um, off of what Joe said, I feel like one of the most important things for you to do to feel comfortable, like how he was saying, talking to people, is be able to answer the question, like, what do you do? And then just be comfortable with your products, just like you would talk about a hair product that you like or you know what kind of music you like you're pretty confident in you know your style or what kind of music you listen to same thing with your fitness routine it's just your daily routine it's nothing extra special other than you just sharing that you you know bought conditioner or bought pio it's the same thing it's just be confident in the product that you're sharing and then it will come off way easier, I think. Yeah. That was and, my then, like, and you'll probably never see that person again. And, and like Joe said, you know, at least you're not like trying to sell them. You're just trying to make friends. And, uh, you know, if they're not interested, it's not the end of the world. You know, you, you missed out on like 30 bucks or something like that. But at least, you know, you took the time to maybe make a friend, um, which is cool. I mean, why not? Does anyone else have any, any like comments? I wanted to bring something up. So I've heard back from a couple of brand new coaches, um, like people coaching less than a month and they're trying to use this Pio script. Um, some of them do not do Pio or they don't have a lot of experience with it and they're getting a lot of negative feedback from people that they're inviting. I know part of it is because they're brand new and so they're going to get hit with negativity back. Like who do you think you are to tell me about this. You haven't even done it yet. Um, do you have any advice for them as far as like kind of how to deal with that and to keep moving forward on inviting these with these challenge groups? <laughs> yeah. Don't waste your time with those people. And <laughs> like, honestly, just water off a duck's back. There's, there's like, there's just weird people out there. You're going to, you're going to come across haters. You're going to come across nasty people. There's not too many of them out there, but honestly, like, for me, I'm not going to waste my time with those people. I'm not going to waste my time trying to explain what it is I'm doing. If they're nasty, I'm moving on because my time's too valuable and everyone on this call's time is too valuable. There's too many people out there that really do need our help and want our help and deserve our help. So don't waste your time trying to get in a conversation with someone like that when you can be spending your time helping people out there that really deserve it and want it and are waiting for you to reach out to them. Um, hey, that's can I ask you a Hey, Jenny, were those are those people that you've never that you don't know or don't know that you coach that were saying you you didn't do pile? So what are you telling me about pile for? It, I've gotten messages from new coaches this week telling me that they've tried the pile script and they've sent it out, and it's probably to people they know. It's probably people on their friends list, and they're getting a lot of negative feedback from it. And I just know that they're getting discouraged from it, and it's very easy to see people on this call say you know, like show Amy's um, 
conversations and how they flow through. But I think it's important not to get discouraged on it because sometimes when you're new, you're going to get a lot more, you know, people, people don't really know what you're part of yet. And so not to let it discourage you, I guess. Hey, Jenny, um, can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. Hey, um, just to add into that, like, I would never tell anybody to tell them, you know, they don't have to complete the whole 90 day program to know about it. But hold on, Isabella, I feel like before, you know, even if I'm trying to sell body bees, I feel like I can tell them things about it, or I, you know, read up about it. Not that I've actually done it. But I, I kind of, you know, I'm sorry, my daughter's talking next to me. But um, I just kind of make myself to be not like an, I, an expert on it. You know what I mean? Tell them to read up about it before they send out the script. Know how to answer some questions. Like maybe have a couple. There's a lot of people's before and after photos you could show them. They could practice it on, um, you know, there's free little clips on YouTube just to even do like, you know, 10, 15 minutes of it so they could, you know, just be able to talk about it. So if they're using the script and don't really know anything about it, that could be like really uncomfortable. So maybe you could tell them to, kind of research it or become a little bit more educated before they throw it out there. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and that's the beauty of being a team. I mean, there are so many of yeah. us that have, like, there's probably every workout's been done by all of us. So somebody like, has before or after pictures and can help you out that way. Like, I think somebody like yesterday said, who has done Body Beast and who has pictures and who can talk to somebody mm -hmm. about it. So somebody's going to come there and, you know, yeah. and, and be by you, you know, to help you out with that. So don't be afraid to ask. You're not here by yourself. We're all here to help each other. So, yeah, you know, definitely. Like, uh, we got Pat's pictures for Pile. We got uh, Davy's pictures for you know for Body Beast. You know, many of us have done programs all the way through. So, you know, we can put put somebody on a three way message or just get some advice from them. That's all. Yeah. Hey, Jenny. On that, I ran into that issue too with being a newer coach and sending out invites to people that I've known in the past that I went to school with and whatnot. And there is a lot of negativity out there, especially if they know that, you know, you've been on like a fitness hiatus or you've never really been into fitness a whole lot back in the day when they knew you. But the one thing that I found that helped me is telling them, you know, I, I might not be the most fit person. I might still be in the middle of my journey, but I'm on that journey and I'm making those changes. And I just thought that I'd reach out to you since you, you had a post that seemed like you were on the same process. You, you just got to try to find that, that spot to connect. And um, I'm willing to talk to some of those coaches that you're, that are having those problems if you want, because I've dealt with that here recently since I've really started trying to work the business and it can be very, very discouraging. I think that's great. Thanks, Vanessa. And I just wanted to jump in and, you know, this could just be me, but if I was going to invite someone to a challenge group and I haven't done the program, I don't know. And I'm not planning to do the program. I don't know if I'd invite them to that challenge group. Um, like I've done PIO in the past, so I feel comfortable inviting people to the PIO after the PIO challenge group because I've done it. But if I wasn't planning to do it and I haven't done it before, I'm not sure if I would say, hey, we are doing this because I wouldn't be doing that. But Bridget, I feel I the same way. Me. Like okay. I never promoted P90 really or mm -hmm. Body Beast because those are personally products I've never used nor plan on doing. So for like... Pio is easy for me, 21 day fix. So I think that that's another big thing for people. Like you, if you're going to promote it, you need to be planning on doing it as well or already have done it. Yeah. I mean, I think it's fine if you're planning to do it too. So you haven't yeah. done it yet and you're saying we're going to do it together, but otherwise like maybe promote what you're doing right now. Like if you're starting with 21 day fix, you know, just change the Pio script up and share about 21 day fix or find someone with a 21 day fix script instead of using Pio, you don't have to use the script right now just because that's what's on sale if, if you're yeah. not familiar with it. No, that, what, what both you girls are saying is very true, but at the same time, um, you can say like, you know, I've done, like I have people say, Joe, I wanna, I wanna get the results you did, but I don't think I could do P90X. You no, know, I'll recommend like Power 90 or something that's not as challenging, even though I haven't done it. And it's the same with, same thing with, with everyone else, I mean, Say someone, you know, wants to do the 21 day fix, what they have joint problems or they, you know, they want to get good results. Then you can recommend pile. You haven't done it, but you can say, you know, this is a great product that's just came out. A lot of people are getting great results from our team. 
you know, I haven't done it yet, but I can show you a video of it. Send them, send them the, the video from the back office and say, I think this might be good for you. And then let them be the judge, you know. So you're not pushing anything on them. You're just recommending something. Yeah, I agree completely with that. So if someone, you know, is looking for something specific, that I'll definitely recommend something that would be more tailored to them, even if I haven't tried it. But I wouldn't go out there with the P90 script right now because, like Amy said, I haven't done it and I don't plan to do P90. But if I knew someone that needed that, like I've recommended it to people saying, you know, you're at a starting spot and P90X isn't for you, um, I, you know, because they, but that, you know, I know that they might want something else, but that would be individual and not like, yeah them to a challenge exactly I, like individual if they're saying whatever they're they want to work on porsche control then i do 21 day fix if they want you know something like p90x and it's p90 but like bridget said i don't go out and like promote it promote it and invite everyone to join it thanks i just wanted to make sure we got some other points of view i already answered them but <laughs> i'm gonna have them watch the video too so <laughs> yeah and, and the, the script isn't like a copy and paste thing. It's more of like a suggested thing to use and then like tailoring it to the way you would say it. Like that script, I take that and I put it in my own words. Um, and if I had never done a program, I probably wouldn't say it exactly that like that. I would say, hey, you know, I'm really excited about this program. I've had my eye on it for a while, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, it's more of like a guide rather than like a strict copy and paste. Yeah, you want to be careful with your friends, and everybody has a different personality. So you really got to, you know, tailor it to who you're talking to. And, you know, if Instagram and your Facebook invites, um, you could get a little more ballsy with it and, you know, and be up front, excuse the language. But, you know, take a chance. That's a chance. That's the time to get out of your comfort zone and, and try to, you know, be a little more, you know, straight, straightforward to the point if you can. Not with everybody, but, you know, take a risk. See what works. Yeah. And a cool thing about this a business is uh, you're the CEO, so you can stay ballsy and you're not going to get in trouble. <laughs> and Team Boom's pretty down to earth, so it's cool. And with that, that, we're going to end the call. Okay, cool. Hope you guys go out there, be ballsy, rip it up, invite, make friends, and uh, let's, let's help some people get some results and, and help some people change their lives a little bit. All right, guys. Thanks everybody for getting one, out. two, three, boom. Yeah, we'll do. A, yeah, we got to do. It. We. I was actually thinking about that today. We used to end the conference calls with one, two, three, boom. Um, so if everybody would like to unmute themselves real quick, <laughs> end it with a little one, two, three, boom, and then we'll, and then we're out of here. Ready? One, one two, three, three, boom. 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 Oh, Come on. Come on. Next, next week will be better. <laughs> Try it again. Try it again. Come on. Man. All right. One, two, three. Boom. 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 <laughs> like a sick bomb just went up. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you on the book. Yep. On the book.